G'day folks and uh, welcome back to my little uh, home workshop. Uh, today I've got an unboxing video for you and it's uh, all the way from Boring, Oregon over in the United States of America and it's from James. Now James uh, runs a small little business over there uh, making you know special tools and that sort of thing and uh, it was very kind of James. He sent me over a spindle tram okay, or a spindle, spindle alignment tool. So let's jump straight into the unboxing and I'll show you, you know, how he packed it and, and uh, how it arrived. And let's give it a quick test drive, it'll uh, pedestal drill. The pedestal drill, I can tram it in left to right, but I can't tram it in forward and back um, without scraping or doing something like that. But it's, uh, this tool's definitely gonna help me uh, speed up my workflow in the workshop and, uh, and I'll show you why. Let's open up, let's have a little look inside and what it is and uh, yeah, I'm sort of excited. Well, it's uh, very well packaged. Let's have a look in here. What have we got? Oh, very cool. Got some uh, nice little stickers there. Awesome stuff, boring research. Yep. Oh, we've got a, um, looks like a drag tool here as well. Very cool. Some nice stickers. They'll look good on the new sticker board. All right, let's have a look here. Let's move these to the side. Lovely little case it comes in. Very professional looking. That's really cool. Nice, solid, sturdy case. Well, let's open it up and look at the goodness. Very, very cool. Tramming tool. Very nice. And metric dial gauges to boot. That's awesome. I love the, um, the embossed inlay down in here. You can see the BR, Boring Research. Well, certainly very, very sturdy looking. It's uh, engraved on here as well. So 75 to 150 uh, spindle square, uh, boring OR, US of A. Well, I can't wait to give that a whirl and tram some of my machines here today. Um, here's, the, here's the tool here, the spindle square, and uh, I think James has done a very nice job of it. Um, it's all, it looks like it's all been CNC machined. Um, it's got a very high polish on it. It's got some nice little engraving over the back here that he, I don't know if he's used a little ball end, end mill or he's used, I think he's used his drag tool uh, that he supplied me in here. Uh, what I particularly like about it is it has these ribs on the top here and those ribs are to lock in the dial gauge. So the DTI, it will come in here and actually sit on those little ledges for you and you can lock it in. So yeah, pretty cool. As I said, James is very kind. He donated this to my channel, so thank you. Um, this is not a sponsored video. Under no circumstances uh, did James ask me to do a video on this. Um, I, I offered to and you know, and I, and I think that's fair enough. You know, we, we have to give back in the machinist community and, uh, and support one another. So James, thank you for this. Now I currently own one of these. Now this is uh, the competition out there and it's a bit more commercial but look look at the size of it now. I bought this many years ago when I had a little tiny CNC router. They do make a bigger one however um, for this one here I think to, for my purpose it's too small. So what I like about James's one is that it definitely much wider okay and much easier to sweep around as well okay. So let's take it over to the pedestal drill and let me just show you it in action real quick.
off camera, I set this up on the opposite side and I zeroed in my, my DTIs the, to zero. Now these are metric, they're not imperial. Now when I've swept it around the front, unfortunately I couldn't do a full sweep with the camera attached the way it is, unfortunately. It was hitting the handle and hitting the back of the drill press. But when I sweep it to the front now, you can see that it is currently at a tram left to right, 0 0.02 of a millimeter. Now that is <laughs> incredible, all right? So look, it's only a drill press. It doesn't have to be that accurate, but I'll tell you what, it's a lot accurate than what I had it. Well, there we have it guys. Um Spindle tramming square from Boring Research all the way from Oregon, USA. Um, if you don't know where Oregon is, it's over on the western coast, uh, right up the top, not far from the Canadian border. Um, I was actually over in Portland a couple of years ago, and uh, what a shame, James. I didn't know you back then. I would have come over and visited your shop, mate. And, uh, and uh, whilst over there, I was hanging out with Mike from Blue Hands Videos, and uh, Mike's a great guy, and uh, honestly, him and I are like two peas in the pod. Uh, we're like that movie um, uh, Forrest Gump, you know, when the uh, Sergeant Sergeant Dan or Major Dan, whatever, asked them, are you two related? It was quite good over there. I enjoyed my time. And Mike even drove me down to the Evergreens uh, Aircraft Museum, which is probably the highlight of my time in Oregon uh, over there in Portland. Alrighty, so, yep, yeah, once again, thank you, James. Outstanding product. I'm really happy with it. Um, and to be honest, guys, it's $100 US or $99 US with metric dial gauges in a box. And I, I think that's the correct price. If I've stuffed up, James, please correct me in the comments. Uh, I just went to your website and checked it out. I think it's of uh, excellent value, to be honest with you. It's um, when you look at that, the time and effort to go into that, the parts and everything, you know, you wouldn't be made. I don't think that you're making much profit, mate, to be honest with you, but it's a, I think it's well and truly worth its money. So thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. Alrighty, and look, thanks for that, ladies and gents. On that note, I'll sign off. Um, I'll be back in a week's time. I've just bought a semi-universal um, indexing head. Um, my lovely wife bought it for my birthday. Well, she didn't know she bought it for my birthday. I accidentally clicked purchase on eBay and then told her what she purchased for my birthday. Anyway, <laughs> I might throw that one in the outtakes. So I'll be back in a week's time. I've just bought a, what the called? Uh, got a little joke for you before I leave and it's quite disgusting and quite vulgar and uh, you wouldn't believe who told me, but it was my daughter. And uh, I think she hangs around the guys a bit too much. Uh, she's picking up a lot of their bad traits. Anyway, she came home the other day and she said, hey dad, what does a police delivery guy and a gynecologist have in common. I said, I've got no idea. What is it? She goes, they can both smell it, but they're not allowed to taste it.